Hello fellow citizens. Welcome to Team Infinite Shoemonkey's concept progress report. After receiving feedback from the judges, we started improving our hull design. We tried to achieve an overall bulkier look. In several steps we reduced a bit of length, we also increased the height by roughly 0.3 meters and especially made the nose more bulky. The cockpit shape was changed after trying different variants. We also tried adding some thicker armor at different spots, giving it more detail and adding some substance. And finally, we started adding some rough texture to the ship and made some variations this way. A big chunk of our time went into laying out all the systems and subsystems of the ship. We've gone into more detail of the distribution system of the thrusters how the individual thrusters would pivot and how the different flight attitudes could be achieved. We also went ahead and improved the turret axis and deployment from the standby position. The turret position and field of view for the class 4 hardpoint was added as well. And we also had some ideas for the class 3 missile racks, which in our case developed into a missile revolver, holding more missiles while keeping a low profile as it wouldn't have to deploy completely. Next up we designed the rear access ramp and how the marines could enter and exit the ship and how cargo could be loaded. As well as the front access for the pilot and crew. We also updated our schematics of the ship as well as the ship stats for the Anvil Aerospace Scimitar. To give you an idea of how the ship would land and also how the VTOL system would work, we added this short landing sequence. And last but not least, we wanted to add some eye candy by showing you all the subsystems that we modeled so far, that we also intend to use for our damage models. These modules will also help us define the final shape of the interior. This concludes our concept stage so far. We hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.